I'd like to share with you some real interesting things about glucosamine that go way beyond just help for osteoarthritis. Now, glucosamine is this amino sugar. It's a combination of glucose and glutamine, which is an amino acid. And this compound is a precursor for cartilage. It has been known to increase uh, lubrication and synovial fluid in your joints. So it can help to cushion the joint and lubricate the joint. So because glucosamine is a precursor for things in your joints, it can help prevent the breakdown of the joint. And I'm talking about cartilage. It can also help maintain your cartilage. And it's especially important for athletes that put a lot of stress on their joints because the more stress in the joints, the more the requirement of this compound. But glucosamine goes way beyond just support for osteoarthritis. And just as a reference or a disclaimer, um, this is not meant to cure any diseases. In fact, according to the FDA in the United States, you can't make any claims about any medical condition whatsoever. However, in Europe, where there's a lot of studies on this compound, there's definitely more of a claim that you can use over there. In fact, in North America, um, there's little, if any, research on this compound, probably because of the competition. Um, it competes for a lot of the anti-inflammatory medications. This is probably why it's not recommended too much in the medical community. But glucosamine um, supports wound healing. It's a pretty good anti-inflammatory. It's great at reducing pain. There's been some studies to show that it can improve varicose veins, decrease the risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes. And there's also interesting research on longevity of glucosamine improving your lifespan. And that could be related to just decreasing inflammation in general. I don't know, but that's interesting. And glucosamine, because it's in this family of these protein sugar molecules and what they do in the body, especially in lining the tissues, like for example, the mucus layer in your colon is combined uh, with compounds that combine sugar molecules with amino acids. And so this is probably why glucosamine is really good for anything inflammatory in your gut, like colitis or irritable bowel syndrome. So it can be used for that as well. Now, there's another interesting thing that glucosamine does. It supports this immune cell called the mast cell. And this mast cell makes another compound called heparin. And maybe you've heard of heparin before um, as something that is given to a patient after they had a heart attack to prevent clotting. It's used as a blood thinner. Well, it's in the same family as glucosamine. And glucosamine actually increases the production of heparin which is actually something natural that is released from your own body's mast cell. But heparin is a potent neurogenic anti-inflammatory, uh, neurogenic meaning relating to the nerves and your brain, as well as reducing edema and swelling and pressure. And this is why glucosamine also is a very potent anti-vascular migraine antidote. So it's really good for vascular migraines as well as cluster headaches as well as anything that becomes dysfunctional in your blood-brain barrier. There's been some research also on glucosamine being good for seizures. Um, there's some other data that shows that it might potentially increase seizures if you take large amounts. That study was in rats. So I would recommend just taking the normal amounts. Now, as far as the amounts uh, that uh, would be recommended for glucosamine, roughly between 500 to 1,000 milligrams three times a day. Some of the conflicting studies that shows that uh, it's inconclusive that glucosamine can help a person with some of these benefits are usually either um, studies that were done very short term within weeks, um, not a longer period of time because it does take sometimes six weeks to see the real big benefits. And other times they'll use the type of glucosamine that is not as bioavailable, like in glucosamine hydrochloride, which I don't recommend that type. Glucosamine sulfate is a good compound, but there's many others as well. However, I just wanted to bring glucosamine under your radar in case you have some of these conditions and you're looking for a good remedy. Now, since I did talk a little bit about osteoarthritis, there's some more information that you should know about that topic, and I put that up right here. Check it out.